Okay, so this is the IBM Sear, so this is just the loading screen that pops up. So this is on the Android version, uh, but it's also available on, on the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4 when, it, when it's launched. Um, so this is basically a guide to what, it, what IBM Sear can do. So we've got live video feeds up here, Radio Wimbledon, uh, a camera view which enables augmented reality, a map which shows you where, where you are in relation to points of interest that you tagged, points of interest which are basically geotag locations with live updates and live scores coming to those areas, a directory which lists your points of interest at that point in time, and then TweetBrag. This basically takes uh, live Twitter feeds from Wimbledon and then retweets those to your Twitter account. So, when you click on here, you'll have your points of interest. So we've got six categories of interest at Wimbledon. Courts, food and drink, gates, information, landmarks and transport. So these points of interest, obviously, you can choose whenever you want to learn about those or for them to guide you through the day, you can then pick on those parts. So if you want to know about gates and courts, then you can click on them. If you want to just know about food and drink, you click on that. And then in the map, the directory and the camera, you'll then see that information. So let's go on courts and food and drink to start with. As you click on the camera, it then brings that up in augmented reality. So as you point at, uh, in, the, in this area over here, you've got a feel of all the courts and all the food and drink. Now at the moment, there's quite a lot of points of interest. So we put in a scale, which as you take the scale down, it then takes it nearer to you. So it's a little more kind of, I guess it's a bit easier to take in. So what we've done on centre court is we've fed through live video feeds. So as you click on centre court here, it takes a slight bit of time to load, but there'll be live BBC feeds that are coming through to that area. So by seeing in the map, you'll see that that's centre court, you can click on it, and the BBC feed will then come through. It should be coming through any second now. The key idea then being that once you're Wherever you are, in, <coughs> sorry, wherever you are in Wimbledon, you'll be able to see a live video feed of, you know, of tennis on centre court, court one or court two. So this will, there'll be about maybe half a second, second lag on this during the during the tournament because it's live. But it basically means you can see through walls. Really, you can point it anywhere and you'll be able to see this action. So that's the live feed. So if we go back to the points of interest. So as I said, if you then change it, if you think right, well, in fact, I'm now getting quite hungry. So food and drink and I wouldn't mind knowing about transport as well. So then as you click on camera again, then you'll note the icons have changed. So you've got now a feel of um, where the bakery is, where the park and ride is, where the taxi stand is. So if you click on that, taxi stand south, there's a, there's a video that we've set up. Um, so that basically monitors the queues for the taxis. So as you click on that, there'll be, then be a live video feed of the taxi queue. So then you'll know when's best to get the taxi and when not. So there you go, it's a live. That would be a live feed during Wimbledon. Okay. So then also we've got the map tagged. So as you're on as you're on the map, the pink arrow indicates where you are, and then in relation to that, the points of interest that you've decided to look at. Um, so if you click on one of them, then there'll be information about it. That'll get updated with, with Twitter accounts, Twitter updates during the tournament too. And then the directory, which then tags or gives you a list of all of the points of interest you want to know about. So all the restaurants, all the buffets, and all the bus stops. So that can be uh, filtered by the nearest or by type. So if you change it by type, then it will just have it by its, top, by its category. Then media, as we saw already, we've got the live scores. So court one, sorry, since court, court one, court two, the two taxi stands and Henman Hill. So all live video feeds from there. Then there's, sorry, there's Radio Wimbledon as well, so when you click on that then you have the Wimbledon feed come through. And then Twitter bragging, so as I said, what that will mean is when you see a particular tweet of an area, so maybe Court 17 or Orangi Terrace, when you click on that, that will then link to your tweet account and then it will be, or your Twitter account, and then that will, you'll display that to all your Twitter followers. Um, so that's the items here from IBM.